Feel good? Yeah, so let's take a look. Okay, so it might be a stop and pop is, time. So what you're going to do, I'll just run with you. Keep walking through now. What it's going to look like is you'll have your arm here at your side. You're going to stop and tap the button at the same time. And it's going to be rather abrupt. So let's okay. do it again. What level are you at? Okay. So do it again. Good. Keep going. And then heel. Tapping the button at the yep. same time. Yep. Now, how's the position? How's it feel now? Cool. He was good. I just wanted you to practice it. Yeah. Heel. Heel. So watch him. So if he looks over, keep walking. So if you're going to correct with the no, you don't want to stop. But if you see him, he can look that way. We're going to pass this in. So that's awesome. Oh, so what would that have been before? Uh, we would have probably had to pick up the pace to just kind of try to get out of the area sooner and I would have been correcting and pulling him back and saying no. And even just with the him hearing the bark, not yeah. even seeing the dog. Yeah. Turn left. And if you look beyond just his position while you're moving, if you look, you can also kind of just see that he's just in a more relaxed space, yeah. right? Can so, you just kind of feel that he's, you know, not to use the energy word, but like mm -hmm. his energy or vibe is just very yeah. much more laid back and relaxed. Yeah. He's letting me, letting me take care of it, which is what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. The whole goal is to get him back to this type of mindset where he even has the capability to understand and comprehend what you're asking. The more aroused a dog gets, the less they're hearing what you're saying, the less they're able to follow through with things. He's in this frame of mind, he's able to process things way differently than he is when he gets aroused. It's the same as humans. Like once our heart rate passes, I think 140, we're in lizard brain. It's fight or flight. Yep. Like there's totally. no creative or judgmental thinking. And it also gives you a lot more cushion or headroom that if you do see a dog and he gets concerned about it or starts to focus on it, there's so much more headroom because he's so much more relaxed yeah. that you're not at eight or nine and then, oh my God, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're in, a, in, a, in a bad situation. He's at like three or four and you've got that headroom to bring him back down. 